This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America you'll never find me. Well, uh, what's going on out there, America? I thought uh, today I'd do a little commentary on uh, things that don't make sense to me. And uh, I think you just uh, listen to them and uh, comment on them and tell me what you think. Maybe you can help me out to make sense of these things and uh, why they happen. So uh, it's just going to be a short little video and uh, really important that I get some comments from you. So here we go. Uh, first thing that uh, doesn't make sense to me is these uh, phone sequencer things where you call up a business and uh, you get a recording on the end of the line and uh, it goes through all these uh, different options that you can do, except it doesn't have an option to talk to a live human person. It don't make sense to me. The second thing is turtles. Turtles getting run over in a road. A turtle is probably God's slowest creature on earth. And when it crosses the road, it just plots along, boopity boopity boop along the road. And uh, when a car comes, it probably tucks back up in its shell and just stops. Now, not like a, if you take a consideration, you know, the other spectrum of it, a squirrel, on the other hand, I understand why a squirrel gets run over, because a squirrel, they go darting across the road, they stop in the middle of the road, and they go back the other way, and they go back this way, and and uh, they can't make up their mind. Well, I understand that, and then a human can't figure out how to get your dodge around them, and they run over the squirrel. So I understand the squirrel's getting run over, but the turtle, I don't understand. The human supposed to be the smartest person in the human on the animal chain list or whatever, how they can't figure out how not to hit a slow turtle crossing the road. Just don't make sense to me. Another thing is, uh, uh, people Washington, uh, in uh, the congressmen, the senators in Washington, D.C., when they pass a law, most of the time, pass the law, they are exempt from the laws that they are passing. And that just don't make sense to me. Why would they be exempt from the laws that they're passing and uh, like that? So it doesn't make sense to me. Another thing is uh, the FBI. FBI doesn't make sense to me in that uh, when the FBI interrogates you, if you uh, lie to the FBI, you can be arrested and put in jail, like that Manafort guy did. Okay, he lied, and so he got put in jail. But on the other hand, FBI is allowed to lie to you. They can do that, and they don't get put in jail for it. That don't make sense to me. Okay, well, here is the last one, and it's to cook the law, I'm telling you. Oh, you've heard of PETA. P-E-T-A, they're the human rights for the animal thing, people. And uh, it seems to me, it just don't make sense to me that if uh, they love animals so much and they don't want people eating animals and things like that, why is it that PETA can't come up with a decent, good-tasting hamburger? You know, a veggie burger thing. That's what I'm wondering. And it don't make sense to me why Peter can't come up with a good meat for people to eat. All right, well, that's Jim Bob's commentary for today. Please send in comments and subscribe. And uh, have a wonderful day. Jim Bob's out.